Secretary Friedlander, we're now well over a year into the pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic. You know, there have been a lot of ups and there have been a lot of downs. Let's reflect for a moment. What have we learned? What have we really gained as a result of this? I think we're going to have a lot of things that we learn out of this uh, for quite a while. Uh, the first thing we learned is that we could all work from home and do it pretty effectively. A lot of people are now working from home. We're, we're doing that in the cabinet. We've asked uh, our cabinet employees uh, if they think that it's working. 80% think that it is working and working better. And I, I can tell you, we've seen that. So uh, that's, I think, one of the first big learnings for me. Uh, the second is, uh, I, I think I've said this to you before, that, that what I hope we learn from all of this is that whatever happens to one of us in our communities impacts us all. And if we can take that learning out of this, uh, it will be, I think, something that will make us all better. Uh, you know, that what the governor says, uh, uh, we'll get through this and we'll get through this together, right? Um, I think we hopefully will learn that and have learned that, uh, that, that we can come to depend upon one another. There have been so many examples of, of communities coming together, of meals being delivered to seniors, uh, of all sorts of things where where really kind of the, the beauty of, of Kentucky as a community and our local communities has really shown out. Um, of course, there's been the negative side of that where uh, uh, people, I think, you know, I don't know, conspiracy theories or don't believe in science or, or, or whatever. Um, there is a small portion of that, but, but by and large, I think we've learned what we can do when we pull together as a community. When you look at where Kentucky is on vaccinations and, and things like that. There, there are a lot of things that we've we've learned. I, I, I could go on and on, and I know you don't want me to. But, <laughs> we're we're good. So but well, you made a nice segue. Learn. You made a nice segue into talking about vaccines. Okay, we had a little we had a little glitch with the Johnson and Johnson vaccine uh, having been pulled for the short term, at least maybe long term. At this point, we don't know. But that takes some vaccines off the table. But you mentioned Kentucky's vaccination rate and how it's doing well. But you meet with the governor regularly. You meet with officials. If you were to look in the crystal, I mean, you got to do some planning moving forward, but you still, there's so many unknowns. How do you do that? Well, uh, we have some really good partners who, who help us look at the data and the information that we have on, on vaccines. Uh, we're starting to see some slack in demand. Uh, so we really now have to get to the point where folks who have been vaccinated, I've been vaccinated, uh, talk about how safe and effective it is. I think if you look at, at our long-term care facilities, the folks who are older, we've got oh, well over 75% of folks over 70 who've been vaccinated. That is great. We need to get to that in our, in our entire population. So it's, it's going to take all of us, again, working together, uh, making sure people feel comfortable. And then we know that kind of the, the maximum vaccination sites where everybody goes in at once, uh, we're going to have to shift our strategies a little bit to, to talk and to get the vaccine out to as local as possible um, and through as, as many trusted folks as possible. Um, that's, that's really the pivot that we're about to see. And we can really kind of, kind of do some micro-targeting of communities and neighborhoods where where, where we see the, the vaccine rate is a little lower, and, and, we, and we are going to do that. Secretary Friedlander, Eric Friedlander, the Secretary of the Kentucky Cabinet for Health and Family Services, you're watching Coffee Near Me. Thank you so much. Please stay well, and um, good luck. Thank you, and I, I appreciate the opportunity to, to have had so many conversations with you. Thank you so much.